you guys, I'm Nick, aka the Rule Nick's Games, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to start a Minecraft 1.7.10 server. First off, you want to go up here to minecraft.net slash download, then you want to go over to multiplayer server, and it's going to say if you're running on Windows, yada yada yada, download this. Download Minecraft underscore server 1.7.10.exe. Click that, it will then download right down here. We can now minimize this, and we need to make a folder on our desktop. You can name it whatever, but I'm going to name mine 1.7.10 server. And we forgot a dot. It doesn't matter, honestly, but it's just kind of a pet peeve. Once you've done that, you want to take this, move it over in here to Minecraft 1.7.10 server, and then launch this by double-clicking on it. Now, we always want to run this, so I'm going to dig check this and then click run. It will then add a bunch of stuff, but not everything. We now need to open up the EULA text document. So just double click on it, and we need to go to this website, account.mojang.com slash documents slash Minecraft EULA. Make sure you agree with everything on that page, or if you don't necessarily agree with it, that you're going to follow everything on that page. Once you've done that, come back here and then type true right here. ULA true, that means you agree to the end user license agreement, meaning you're not going to do any of the things that it says not to do in that end user license agreement on your server. I'm not going to do that, so let's go ahead and hit file, save, and then we can close out of that, and then double click on Minecraft underscore server again to create the rest of the server, as you can see back there. Now, we need to go ahead and click stop. Right? So it stopped the server. It'll close out of this. It'll probably take a second here, but it will close out of that eventually. There you go. And now we need to come back to our browser. Now, what you need to do is find the uh, login information for your router. To find this, go to this link in the description. This will be the second link. It'll be minecraft.net slash download, and then it'll be this. What this is, is your router password. So figure out what that router you have. Just look on your router. It'll say Netgear whatever, Linksys whatever, Cisco whatever, whatever it is, and a model number. Come down here, find whatever it is. For example, we'll say it's Cisco, right? We'll say it's a Cisco router. And then we can go down and we can see all of the username and passwords that are right here. Find your router. Once you've found your router, go to your default gateway. How do you find your default gateway? Very, very simple. Come up here to the Windows Start button and type in CMD. Hit enter and then in CMD here, type IP config. Hit enter, and then it will give you your default gateway, your IPv4, and your subnet mask right here. Your default gateway is most likely the same as mine, 192.168.1.1. Take that default gateway right there, right? I'm going to go ahead and move this over so we can see it at the same time. So go ahead and move that over, and uh, as you can see, take that right there and type it into your web browser like I have. You'll then be taken to a login page where you want to enter the admin username right here and the password that you found on this website. Nevertheless, once you've done that, click login. Once you've logged in, you will be something like this. Every router is different. Just look for it gaming, uh, applications in gaming, look for advanced, go into advanced, and what you're looking for is port forwarding. You want to find port forwarding. Once you've found that, click on port forwarding right here. And then, I already have Minecraft. I'm going to go ahead and delete it because we need to re-add it. So go ahead and delete that if you have Minecraft. Go ahead and add a custom service, add add a port forward, port, for, forward a port, whatever it says, add it. And then we want to name this service. I'm going to name mine Minecraft, but it does not matter. You can name it whatever. I actually name it Minecraft server. TCP slash UDP, you need both of them, okay? So either both, or if you can only add one, add them both at the same time. So, um, yeah, but TCP slash UDP, and then 25565, 25565, and then 25565. Now, you're not done quite yet. You need to choose an internal server IP address. For me, that's going to be right here, which is my gaming PC. That's what I'm on right now. However, if you don't have this checkbox, come over here and you want to enter your IPv4 right here. So for me, that's 192.168.1.7. Okay, as you can see, same thing as what's over here is right here. Enter that, then click apply. Guess what? The hard part is over with. Yes! Hard part's over with. Okay, so there's that. Now you can go ahead and close out of this, and uh, I'm going to leave this open. We don't need to close out everything. We just we don't need it anymore. Nevertheless, once you've done that, we're back here. What we now need to do is go into server properties, right? And it might not open up immediately for you. If it doesn't, it'll open up and say, we don't know what to open this with. Do you want to search online? No, you do not. You want to choose from a selected list of programs. Click that, and then click notepad. Open this in notepad. 
once you've opened it, you want to go to your IP, your server IP right here and type in whatever your IPv4 address is. For me, 192.168.1.7. It's going to be different for you most likely, so don't type exactly that. Type whatever you have in, a, in command prompt right here. Nevertheless, once you're done, go ahead and hit file, save, and now we have one more thing to do and we'll be ready to launch up your server. We need to right click, new text document, and now we just need to hit enter, that's fine. Double click on this, and we need to copy and paste this right here into this folder, right? This is in the description, and what this does is dictate how much RAM your server uses. I will have one gigabyte, two gigabytes, and four gigabytes in the description, all labeled. This will be your .bat server copy, right? .bat server command is what I'll call it in the description. I'll have a two gigabyte one, a four gigabyte one, and a one gigabyte one. I'm going to run mine on two gigabytes. So let's go ahead and change this real quick to be two gigabytes. Once we've done that, right? Two zero four eight, two gigabytes. Once we've done that, we can click file, save as, not save, save as, and then you need to save this as something. I'm going to save this as Minecraft server, right? No spaces. You can't have spaces. Dot B-A-T. Minecraft server dot B-A-T. Dot bat. After you've done that, you don't want to save it as dot text. You want to save it as all files and then click save. It will then do all that and you'll have this new text document here that you created. Drag that to the recycling bin. We don't need that anymore. What we do need is Minecraft server right here. As you can see, Windows batch file. Double click on that. It's going to run a lot of things and then it's going to come up and say all this, done, all of that stuff. We can close out of this. Oh, it's still going. It's still going. Okay, there we go. Close out of this, close out of that, and bada bing, bada boom, open this. When you open this, simply type in start. That'll start your server, and let's go ahead and mo open up Minecraft. I'll meet you guys in the game. Once you're on the Minecraft main menu, and as you can see, this is 1.7.10 right there. Once you're in the Minecraft main menu, come to multiplayer, right? And then we want to add a server. For me, just keep it Minecraft server. And what you want to type here is your IPv4 address. Now, other people won't use your IPv4 address to connect to your server. What they will use is your public IP. I'll show you how to get that here in a second. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and type in the IP IPv4, 192.168. Dot one dot seven and uh, make sure you do add the dots in that's very important and then go ahead and click done as you can see there's the server double click on it it will log in launch your server live and uh, looks like we're underwater we are there we go so now that we're out of the water as you can see your server is up and running how do other people join it well it's very very simple you simply want to go back to your browser Right and Google. So if we go to Google.com, we'll actually go to Google.com. Nobody does this. Oh no, my videos. Google.com right there, and we can type in what's my IP. And this is blurred for you. It's going to be blurred, but whatever it is right here, your public IP address is whatever it says after is in bold is what you give your friends to join the server. I'm going to have one of my friends join the server and I'll show you guys that that's how they join. So I'm now just gave my friend the uh, server IP, my public IP, so he can join this server. Waiting on him to go ahead and tune up Minecraft and get it started. Once he joins, you'll be able to see that boom, he's in Minecraft and we're ready to play. We'll be playing together on a server. It'll be great and uh, it'll just proves that you give your public IP to people to uh, for them to join your server. I just wanted to make sure the point that that is how you do it. Whatever it said on Google there, my public IP address is, and that's how they join. Also, while we're waiting on him, what I want to do is uh, go back to the server here, and you need to op yourself or make yourself like a god, pretty much, in the server. To do that, simply put OP and then your Minecraft username. For me, that's Dead Buddha. So op Dead Buddha, and it will say in the server right over here in the actual game, opt dead Buddha so that's pretty cool that's how you can do that nevertheless let's go ahead and wait and whenever he's in here I will go ahead and start back up the video and boom there you have it right down there Patrick Fassler joined the game he is in here he is playing with me I don't know where he's at though right there he is I found him we are now playing Minecraft on a surfer hosted on my computer 100% free and that is how you guys can do it anyway I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give a thumbs up if it helped you out subscribe I do awesome Minecraft tutorials every single day of the week and I'm going to do extension server tutorials as well, showing you how to add your single player words to your server, mods to your server, all of that stuff, and it will all be based on this video. So if you've got a server set up, go ahead and subscribe because more awesome server videos are coming your way. Anyway, guys, I'm Nick's Games. Hope you enjoyed this video. 
I am out. Peace. And here's some videos you guys probably want to go check out. On the left is how to install Optivine in Minecraft 1.7.10. You just created the server, but how do you install the Optivine mod? Go check out that video to find out. And on the right is my Minecraft Let's Play. That is Crisis Craft episode 29, in which I go and mine a ton. We find diamonds, we find a mob spawner, we find lava, we go to the nether. There's a ton of stuff happening in that episode, so go check it out. Also, check out my daily vlogs, the bombs never screen, see what I'm doing every single day of my life. Anyway, guys, I'm Nick's Games and I am out. Peace.